Okay, this is geometry, lesson 27.4, page 36. Ooh, we got pictures and words on this one. What a deal. All right, number three, page 36. If the cylinders below are similar, what is the ratio of the radius of the larger cylinder to the radius of the smaller cylinder? Why does give, give, give? Look, this afternoon, I'm even reading to you. Isn't that phenomenal? I know. Well, they want larger to smaller. Okay, larger to smaller. So I'm gonna grab the only information they gave me, which was the surface areas. I'm gonna go larger, okay, over smaller. Right, and I need to go ahead and see if I can reduce that, all right? Is there anything that you can do um, to 116 and 29? But I really thought 29 was prime, all right? Um, so let's try 116. You all think there's any way we can reduce that? Oh, wow. Who would a funk? All right, if you reduce that, that's actually 4 to 1. All right, isn't that crazy? All right, um, 29 times 4 is 116. So you can divide, if you divide them both by 29, so I would have, I just did, my brain didn't see it at first. Okay, so your ratio of your surface areas is four to one. Now, I need you to do me a favor. If this is the ratio of the surface areas, then that's that A squared to B squared. It's not parts, it's the area. So if I wanna find parts on the shape, because they want the um, radius, right? I'm gonna have to undo this squareage so I can get A to B, all right? So you're just gonna square root the four, square root the one, and you're gonna get two to one. Let me make sure I'm reading it right. I want the ratio of the larger radius to um, the smaller. So yeah, it'll be a two to one. And I don't mean to confuse you the way I write it. You can do two over one, or you can do two um, colon one. Either one is acceptable. They both mean um, a ratio of two to one. All right, this is number three. I think it's a very simple problem. Um, what are you thinking? You think you need something a little bit more fancy? Right. Okay, so fine. So let's try to find you something that'll be a little more entertaining. Ooh, okay. Let's go to page 37. See if I can get number nine into focus. Whoa. Um, I'm not touching a thing. <laughs> I'll just erase this and change this to page 37. But somehow I landed number nine right away. All right. 37 is the page that we're on. Okay, let me erase, let me erase, let me erase. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more reading. I know you all are excited. It's a short reading on this one. So if the prisms below are similar, find the value of X. Ah, oh, okay, well look, X is a part. It's a linear measurement, that measurement right here. And it matches up with 20 because they said they were similar. Um, ooh, they gave us volumes. Okay, so you're going to go 840 is the volume of the larger solid over 105, all right? And then I need you guys to reduce that. I know 5 will go into both, but I'm really sensing something bigger. How about let's see if 105 will go into 840. Yep, 8 times. So you're going to divide by 105, you're going to divide by 105, and you're going to get an 8 to 1 ratio. Okay, now, was that surface area, parts, or was that volume? Ah, look, it was V for volume. So anytime it's volume, you need to think A to the third power over B to the third power. So you're going to have to undo that to get to the parts ratio. All right, because they want us to find this part eventually. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to cube root eight, and you're gonna cube root one, and I'm just gonna give it to you in English. You're looking for a number times itself, three times it equals eight. So eight would be two times two times two, but only one comes out, and the cube root of one is one times one times one, so look, it's a two to one ratio, okay? So everybody understand cube root. You can also find it on your calculator. 
Um, sometimes your calculator has just a plain cube root button. Sometimes you have to hit the shift key. Um, but try it. Try the cube root of 8 and see if you can get 2. All right, now that's the ratio of the parts. 2 to 1, come over here. 20 matches up with X. Who's the bigger shape? The 20 is from the bigger solid, so then it's got to go on the top. And then the X that matches up with it goes on the bottom. And then look at that, like we always have to do. Cross multiply, that comes up a lot. So now 2X, all right, equals 20. You divide by those, divide by those, and you get X equals 10, all right? And then you don't do squared, you don't do cubed. If you're finding a part, it's just 10 centimeters. Okay, talk to me, talk to me. Uh, this is lesson 27.4. We were on page 36 and page 37. And as always, it is good to see you.